Hi everyone, this is Claudine Helmuth and I am here today to show you how to put together my paper bird kit. So these are the birds that come in the kit. We've got yellow, blue, pink, and then white with little pink polka dots on the wings. And they also come with the black beaks that you see here, but also a little orange beak, which adds a nice little spring chick feel to your bird. So you can interchange orange beaks or black beaks. They can also be displayed as ornaments. So you can add a little fishing line or a little bit of twine here and hang them as an ornament. And they look really, really cute when displayed with my paper bouquet kit. So this is the paper flower kit and all I did here for this little guy was I took a, a paper straw and I just punched a little hole uh, in the bottom using a craft knife and put him on a paper straw and then he can go in the bouquet in a really sweet little vase and it just looks so cute for spring or summer or really any time of the year. I mean, I think they're just darling. So when you download and print out your bird kit, this is what one of the pages will look like. So this is the yellow bird, um, but you obviously have the pink and the blue and then the white bird as well. And each bird comes with uh, two beaks. So you could choose the black beak or the yellow beak. And um, I'm gonna show you here, you're just gonna wanna make extra sure to cut in on all of these orange lines, uh, the solid lines, and I'm going to show you while I'm cutting, but th this is slightly different from some of my other templates because it's a little bit more intricate. I needed all of that space to make the tabs, so that's why there's a lot more cutting in on this one, but it's still not really that complicated. So first I'm going to cut around the entire outer edge of the bird, and then I'll show you how to cut in on all of those lines. Okay, so now that I have him completely cut out, my little bird, um, I'm going to need to cut in on all of these orange lines. So you can see they go up and then in there. And then I want to cut out this little diamond for his beak. And then you can see there's orange lines here, 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 and then all of these ones going down there. So you'll see all of them around. So I'm just going to use my craft knife and very carefully go in on the line and just cut all of the lines out that way. And then on the beak, here I've got the orange beak, but the black beak is the same way. We're going to want to cut in on these solid lines here as well. So now that I have cut into all of those lines and including the beak area, I need to score along these dotted lines that are all along here. So you'll see, now none of them are exactly straight except for a couple along the edges. So you don't even really need to use a ruler. Um, I like to use a legal pad and then a pen that's got no uh, ink in it to score my lines. And all I'm gonna do is just draw along the dotted lines very carefully. Now I'm working here on Staples matte photo paper. Um, it's a nice heavier weight paper. But if this is the first time that you're making these birds, I really recommend just using uh, copy paper because it's lighter and it's more moldable. You'll get um, a, a nice feel to it. You'll be able to round the corners that little bit better. And since this isn't a favor box or it's not going to hold anything, uh, it really doesn't matter too much. The photo weight paper just adds that little bit extra body, but it's just a little bit more um, firm, a little bit trickier to deal with. So I'm going to score all of these lines. So I also scored all the lines on the beak and you're going to want to, this is so tiny, so let me get in there to show you. You're going to want to fold all these little letters up like that so that it's like that. And then that's what's going to stick to the bird. But first we've got to make it beak shaped. So I'm just going to add a little bit of adhesive and you could use glue stick or um, double stick tape. It's a little, little tiny area, so glue stick will be okay. We're just going to add adhesive to this tab, this AB tab. And 
then I'm going to fold it around like that. Let's see if you can see. There we go. Get it secure and hold it down so you can see it's kind of like this shape now. Just got to hold it there for a second while the glue stick does its job. So now you can see here it's beak shaped. Now we need to ad apply adhesive to the rest of the bird. Now to do this, if you are using printer weight paper, go ahead and use glue stick. That's fine. I find glue stick to be a little bit tricky with the heavier weight paper because it keeps wanting to pop open. So what I'm going to be using is the um, tape gun here. And this just is a really easy way to apply ad adhesive. Um, you can also use double stick tape or the adhesive of your choice. But th this is so great for paper crafting because it goes very fast. So I've gone ahead and already applied tape gun to here, 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 and here. And then I'm going to flip over my bird and I'm just going to tape it all on camera here so you can see where I'm taping. I'm going to go in a nice loop all the way around his head and then over here. And I'll hold this up at the end when I'm finished so you can um, see it closely. And then I'm going to go here and here. And I don't worry if the tape is overlapping the tabs. Don't worry about that because uh, that's all going to hide and it will make sure that you get nice adhesion. And then these little flaps. Okay, I'm just checking and then up here, I'm going to go in a circle up here. Now you could just do it the conventional way and apply adhesive to all the tabs on the outside. But I found after having put together quite a few of these birds that applying it to the back is a nice little shortcut. Okay, so let me hold this up so that you can see. Let me get it at a good angle. There. Okay, so I've applied adhesive all along here, all along here, and here, and then these little wings, things, they're not really wings, but they kind of look like wings, all along there. And then I just need to apply a little extra adhesive to his beak area, and I see one little spot that I missed up there, and if you miss a spot, you know, it's not the end of the world. It's just paper, but if you miss a spot, it might not hold quite as well, especially with this heavier weight paper because it really wants to, um, to keep bending back the other way. Okay, so I think I've got everything. I'm double checking. Okay, so now we are ready to uh, apply the beak. So I've got the little beak here, and all I'm going to do, and, and since I applied tape, all to the back there. It's already got its adhesive in place. So all I'm going to do is um, kind of figure out how it likes to fit in and then just press, press it through the hole. It's not going to go all the way through the hole. There will be a little bit of a gap. That's okay. Don't, don't worry. You don't want to force it all the way through the hole, but just kind of get it in there most of the way, and then press these little flaps down into the adhesive. And then there you can see he's getting his beak. He's already starting to look a little bit more like a bird. And now, since we didn't do it earlier because we were busy applying adhesive, I want to separate all of these pieces because they've got the tape on them, and just start to fold them down. So you want to make sure that all these are folded down nicely. All of these little tabs, I mean, some of these tabs are teeny weeny. I think this is the most intricate of my kits to put together. Most of my kits are fairly straightforward, but 
This one has a few extra more in intricate tabs, but that's okay because um, it is so worth it because it's the cutest little bird when you're all done. So we're just going to fold down all of these tabs. Okay, so all little tabs are folded. Adhesive has been applied. Beak is in. We are ready to start assembling, and I like to start with the head. So first, you're just going to take these little tabs here and press them in like that and make sure it's nice and secure and then do the other side so that tiny little tab and then that goes right in there so it looks like that now and then now for the top of the head so this is going to fit you kind of arch it arch this side a little bit and make sure that's in focus for you so just arch it a little bit like that and then slowly kind of press the tabs in and then you've got this extra little tab there you just want to work that around so that it's like that so you can see that side you can kind of press it down if you want looks cute okay so now let's do the other side of his head and this is where using the tape gun really comes in handy because once you've got all of the adhesive applied, it's just a matter of getting the tabs into place. So first the top and then around there. So now you can start to see he's starting to look like a cute little bird. It's so funny how he goes from this crazy little flat thing where he looks like a I don't know, like a little manta ray or something. And then all of a sudden he looks like a, like a bird. So cute. Okay, so now we take these flaps and we're going to tuck them under the tail and you're just gonna line up the tail with the dotted line. You'll see like where this part, this part right, that dotted line will just line up right there with that. And then same on this side, this is tab BB. You guys, so many little tabs, I had to go into double letters. But don't let that scare you, it's really not hard. Trust me, if I'm putting it together, it's not that hard because I do not have crazy amounts of patience. So now you can see how he, his little body's coming together. So now we do these little flaps here and you just wanna kinda as you're going along, make sure that these flaps have good adhesion. So everything, because if you're working with the heavier weight paper, if you're just working with printer weight paper, this is going to stick no problem. But the heavier weight paper, because we're, we're making it in such an angle, it really just wants to continue to try to open up for a little bit. So now... I like to start with this bottom flap here and just take it and you just sort of line it up. Let me get it with this angle. Line it up with that dotted line like that. So it, it makes kind of a little crease there, but it's lining up exactly with the dotted lines of those tabs. And again, press it to make sure it's secure. And then same thing on this side. So once I do something on one side, I like to do it on the other side because it kind of keeps the paper more even. So now those two are attached. Oops, <laughs> he's trying to fly away already. And now we want to work up our way to these little tiny flaps. So we're just gonna take this whole, now these double wings, and just kind of press them there. And then take this tab, which is tab C, and press it 
down to the end of this tab. There we go. Okay, so then we do the same on the other side. So again, make sure that those little flaps are up there and this gets tucked in. Oops, I think it will be easier for me to show you from this angle. There, so these little flaps go there. And then you take this one, I believe that's tab Z, and just tuck it right there. Okay, and don't worry if there's a little bit showing there and there because we're gonna add the wings at the end. So now, as the finishing step, and before you close up your little bird, make sure absolutely everything has good adhesion. And then we're going to take one side, it really doesn't matter which side, and make sure that all those little flaps are sticking in there, like that. And then same on the other side, so you can kind of hold it closed. And at this point, it's practically putting itself together. It, it's almost like the paper knows where to go. And, but you're just making sure that it's all secure. And then you just fold these two pieces down. And follow the tail on the one side with the dotted line and same thing the tail on the other side with the dotted line. And if you would like to add a little adhesive right in there, you can. I'm just going to take a good way to add adhesive from your tape gun, or at least I do, I do it this way. If I've forgotten to add adhesive and I can't get my tape gun in there, I just pull off a little piece like that. And then just I'm just going to place that in there so that then the two tail pieces will be secure. So as a finishing touch, let's add the wings. And really how you place the wings can really kind of change the personality of the bird. So here he's got his little wings up, he's got his little wings down, so you can kind of choose how you want them. I just add a little bit of tape to the front of the wing and it's, it kind of fits in right above that little mark there. So where at least that's where I like it to go. So right there and then on the other side. So there you have your super cute little yellow bird and he can sit like this or he could sit facing down like that. And here he is also with a black beak just so that you can see how the beak uh, changes the personality a little bit of the bird. And then, of course, in the kit, you've got pink and blue and white bird as well.